So here we have the Ford Fiesta 1.25 ZTEC on a 63 plate. I'm going to show you around the outside of the car first of all and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. As you'll see from the outside it's a three door car with alloy wheels. Let's start off inside the boot and then we'll work around the rest of the car from there. So you'll see as we approach the boot area that this car's got a 60-40 split folding rear seat and loads of boot space especially given the car's external dimensions. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car now before I hop in and run through some controls. But now that I've done a full circle of the car, you can see it's in fantastic condition the whole way around. A really lovely looking car. Just briefly before I jump in, I think it's worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view so that you can see the condition of the seats, which is fantastic, as are the carpet areas. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, so let's start with the dials. On the left hand side we've got the rev counter and on the right hand side the speedometer. The fuel gauge appears in the middle at the bottom and then above that you'll see we've got the trip computer uh, which has got the total mileage being displayed at the moment and that is 38,182. Uh, you can change the information that's displayed up on there by pushing the button on the end of the indicator stalk and you'll get various other bits of fuel economy information all the way back round to the beginning again. Um, if we back out to the steering wheel, on the left hand side we've got stereo controls as well as voice activation for the phone. So pushing that button in the middle and asking it to dial someone from your contacts list, uh, it'll do that for you without you having to touch the phone at all. Obviously you need to pair the phone up first of all, and that is done over in this central screen area just here. So uh, first of all, you'll see this car's got DAB digital radio. It also has AM and FM radio. And on top of that, you can stream music wirelessly via Bluetooth. So once you pair up your phone, not only can you make and receive phone calls, but you can also uh, say stream music wirelessly. We've also got a CD player, an auxiliary input, and a USB input as well. So there are loads of ways to listen to music in this car. If we back out to the main stereo uh, unit just there, you'll see the CD player at the top of that. And then down the left, some of the other options that I mentioned, so the radio, AM, FM, auxiliary will uh, bring up the Bluetooth audio, the auxiliary input, and the USB input as well. And then you can pair your phone just here. Beneath that, we've got the air conditioning. So temperature adjustable over here, fan speed just here, then hit AC to turn the air conditioning on, or off again and then the direction of the air is determined by this dial here and then you've got a heated front screen as well we then got the five speed manual gearbox and directly beneath that a 12 volt charging socket the auxiliary input and the usb input that i mentioned a moment ago all that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video if you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive feel free to give any of our mja sites a call we'd love to hear from you soon